Hi everyone, I'm Scott Rounds and welcome to my 5 minute training series. Today I'm going to be talking about Hootsuite. The more you use Twitter, the more you need Twittering tools. There are quite a few utilities out there, but the one that I found that is the easiest to use is Hootsuite. This free web-based Twitter management tool allows you to manage your Twitter account or even multiple accounts while offering you several must-have features like URL shortening to reduce the number of characters in your web links, statistics to see how your tweets are doing, and the one that I use the most often is tweet scheduling to allow you to pre-schedule all of your tweets. Before going to Hootsuite, you must already have an existing Twitter account. So if you don't have one yet, be sure to do that first. I won't go into the process of set setting up Twitter in this video, but it's very simple. Just go to twitter.com, click on the Join Today button, and follow the instructions. Now let's talk about Hootsuite. Because Hootsuite is web-based, there is no software to download or update. The first thing you need to do is go to hootsuite.com to sign up for a free account. You'll see some highlighted features here, as well as some logos of prominent companies using Hootsuite down here at the bottom. They also have a short video tour that I recommend you watch that shows you more how you can customize your Hootsuite layout. To get started, click on the Sign Up Now button. To create your account, just simply fill in the blanks. Enter your email address, full name, create a password, re-enter your password, select your time zone, and then you can decide whether to subscribe to Hootsuite's newsletter or not by checking the box here and then simply click on create account. You will be sent a verification code to your email. Simply copy that and paste it here and click on confirm. The first thing I need to do is add a social network account, which is why this window has popped up. I'll go ahead and submit my Twitter account details here. You can also add your Facebook, LinkedIn, and MySpace, but I use Hootsuite primarily to manage my Twitter account, so we'll be focusing on that today. But feel free to explore more of these options once you're more comfortable using Twitter. So once I have my information in here, I just click on Submit. This pop-up window here shows that I'm the owner of this account, so you can go ahead and close that. Finally, I'm back at the Hootsuite dashboard. Let's have a quick look around. In the lower left-hand corner, you'll see the Launch button, which is the main navigation tool. This gives you five choices. Streams, which is your Twitter streams. People, which is where you manage the people that you're following. Stats which gives you the statistics of the tweets that you send out with links in them. Assignments, if you want to share the management of your Twitter account with other people. And settings for all of your account settings and preferences. Let's start by clicking on Launch, then Preferences. From here, I can enable audio and visual notification when I get new tweets. I can also select which URL shortener I want to use. I prefer Bitly, but the default is fine for now, which is Owly. There's a also a link here that goes into greater detail that will help you decide which might be better for you. On the Account tab is where I can change or update my profile information. And under this next tab, called RSS Atom, I can add the RSS feed of my blog or website. So I'll go ahead and add my technicallyspeakingblog.com website now. Click on the Add New Feed. Enter the address of your website. Check on how often you want it to check for updates. And down here is how you can prepend your, your message or your tweet. So I'm going to put in New Blog Post. Select which account you want this to come from. So it's from my Twitter account and then simply click on Save Feed. And there we go, we've added that. On the Social Networks tab is where I can add additional social networks to my Hootsuite account. One of the cool things about using Hootsuite is that it lets you add multiple accounts, so if you have separate Twitter accounts for personal purposes or business purposes, you can access them all without having to log in and out of Twitter over and over again. For now, though, I'll just leave it with the Twitter account I've already set up. 
Finally, let's try sending a tweet from within Hootsuite. Entering a tweet is a breeze thanks to the large text box up here in the upper left-hand corner, complete with the avatars of all your Twitter accounts right here on the right. Right now, I only have the one Twitter account, which is set as the default, which you can see with the large green check box here. So enter your tweet here. And if you notice over here to the right, it shows you how many characters that you're using in this particular tweet. In this tweet, I want to include a link to my website. Hootsuite uses the Owly URL shortening service to shrink larger URLs into smaller ones. Not only is this necessary due to the 140 character limit of tweets, it's built in. Simply copy and paste your URL into this Owly box right here and click shrink it. In addition to the convenience, when you use the Owly URL shortener, Hootsuite can then provide you with statistics detailing how many people actually clicked on your link. When you're finished with your tweet, simply click the Send It Now button to send it immediately. Rather than sending this message now, I want to show you how you can schedule it for later. This is very cool and may be my favorite thing about Hootsuite. The Send Later feature is a terrific way to automate and spread out your tweets because all your tweets from within Hootsuite are labeled in Twitter as Posted from Hootsuite. Other users are never aware that they are viewing previously scheduled tweets. Click on the Send It Later button. Select the date and time that you want your tweet to go out. So I'll schedule this one for tomorrow at 8 a.m. And simply click on Schedule. And that's all there is to it. It'll now show up in your pending column. To view that, go to the main Hootsuite dashboard, which you get there by clicking the Home button, which is this little icon that looks like a house. And you select the Twitter account that you want to manage right here. And if I scroll all the way to the right, here are all my pending tweets. And as you can see, I use Hootsuite to manage all of my clients. This is how I read through all the tweets of the people that I'm subscribed to. And you can organize the columns however you want. I've got my home feeds here, mentions of anyone who has mentioned me, my direct messages, and again to the right, I've got pending tweets and my sent tweets. But again, you can organize your dashboard the way you want it to look and feel. The search feature also makes it very easy to find people or see the most recent tweets for keywords. For example, if you're in the market for a new home and regularly search Twitter for mortgage rates, simply type in mortgage rates here in the search box, press enter, and you'll see all the latest tweets for that phrase. In addition, you can click on the Save as a Column button here so that anytime you log into your Hootsuite account, you can easily see all the latest tweets for that key phrase that you've saved here. The internet is loaded with Twitter applications, some free, some costing hundreds of dollars. Hootsuite is one of the best I've found and is fully loaded with useful tools. And as you can see, Hootsuite is an easy way to really enhance your Twitter account. I would love to hear from you, so please provide me feedback and leave me comments if you found this video helpful. In my upcoming videos and posts, I'll be showing you other services, tips, and tools you can use to become a more advanced Twitter user. Thanks for watching.